It's every kid's dream, sneaking into a toy store after dark on Christmas Eve, with the place all to yourself. Harrington and Sons is now closed for two young hideaways with plenty of balls. They might be ballsy, but it turns out they're not alone. Operation Christmas Star. No one steals on my watch. I can take her. What do you want? 300,000 in cash. Before you sit down to stream Christmas Ransom on Stan, we wanted to take you behind the scenes on set at this warehouse in Sydney's West, which has been converted into Harrington and Sons toy shop. That's where we find our cast, store owner played by Matt O'Kine, alongside security guard Miranda Tapsell. And if you're wondering whether that bump is real, I'm not actually pregnant. <laughs> I was. A lot of people have seen me in magazines and stuff, but no, this grace is out. <laughs> My character, Gladys, who's the security guard of this toy store, she's actually got a bit of Bruce Willis die hard to her. Like, there's, there's an element of that in her, so... So I got to, you know, channel my inner sort of uh, action hero. Inner Bruce Willis. Yes! These are absolutely perfect if you want to make a massive mess in your house. <laughs> if you just want to find, if you want, if you want to be, a, if you want to sit down on your couch and find things for the next 20 years of your life, mm. or you want to step on things or find things in your hair or your clothes, these. I cannot recommend enough. But I've actually got some toy uh, handcuffs over in another aisle to make sure that I don't um, just tear it all apart. Point? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two of the film's youngest and sticky-fingered stars are Talia and Evan, whose in-store antics might just help save the day. What sort of research did you two have to do to become shoplifters in this movie? Oh, um, well, I... <laughs> Gotta check in here. What's in here? Oh, is uh, everything okay? Is that allowed uh, above board? I have Mrs. Perry Dot. Okay. <laughs> I have a uh, purple ball. Yep, I have essential, really. Some socks. Just in case you could, your feet could get cold. I, don't try that at home, actually, kids. Though. Please don't. We're trained <laughs> professionals. Trained professionals. Back in the toy store. Maybe I spoke a little too soon about the handcuffs. This is how we filmed for yeah. almost a whole. For a whole week of filming, Ed and I were, were like this in these chairs. And I tell you what, after a week of doing this, you realise you have bones in your bum <laughs> that you didn't know existed beforehand. Well, you have fun. Bye. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if you loved the slapstick laughs of Home Alone... Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I fine? ..and a dash of cheeky humour... Yeah, nice. Less shirts, more skin. Then this Stan original is for you. I remember being young and asking Mum, where's the snow? Oh, and uh, Yeah, yeah, where's the snow? And why do we have a chimney for Santa? Because everything that was shown to me or given to me as a story about Christmas was always in the Northern Hemisphere. So I think this is going to be really refreshing for a lot of Aussie kids. If you could get anything for Christmas, what would you wish for from Santa this year? Oh... Um, there's this really cool toy on set. It's like a rideable pony. That's awesome. What like, about you, Talia? There's also a toy on set. It's the ball pit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>